What's up guys? Just wanted to catch you before the video starts and show you what you're going to need to complete this process. So I'm gonna list some items in the description and I'm gonna show you guys pictures on screen of what you need to get. Um, very cheap, it'll cost you about $30 total, but you wanna get these items before you even consider starting this process. So with that being said, take a look. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Otherwise, let's get to it. All right guys, so in order to remove the door panel, uh, you simply just need to take out the switching system, um, get yourself a good pry tool so that you don't mar up any of the surfaces. You remove two plugs in the back of that switch, and then there's also a screw that I didn't show here on camera that needs to be removed. It's just below those two harnesses. Um, from there, it's just eight clips that are on the door, and then right there you can see I was messing with, um, it's the trunk switch. There's a harness that's down there as well. Now from there, I, you can unclip the mirror harness from the door. We're gonna remove the tweeter here, and then there's a harness that also goes to that tweeter. Um, it pulls off very easily. Next, we're removing the mirror. There are three 10 millimeter bolts that are holding that on, and then you can just pull it out, slide the harness through the door, and you're good to go. On this next side, uh, it's a passenger side, it's the same exact process. Remove the switching system. There's one harness. Um, there is one screw that holds the door panel on, and then you could take off all of the clips that hold the panel to the door. This is by far the easiest panel I've ever removed. Um, again, you take off the harness for the mirror and then the harness for the tweeter. And then proceed with removing the mirror. Again, three 10 millimeter bolts that hold that mirror on. Um, pull the mirror off, harness to the door, and you're done with the disassemble process. Now the install process is the exact opposite. Um, you're gonna go ahead and put the harness in. You're gonna slide in the mirror. There's, again, the three posts. Um, you put the nut back on and tighten it down. All right, and then as you can see here, it's the same process for the driver's side. So. Harness, then you put in the mirror, secure it with the three nuts, and you're good to go. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the supplied harness. Um, I'm gonna show a picture here in a second that goes from left to right. The left-hand side with a red thin wire is the bottom of the harness. The right-hand side uh, with the bundled up white, candy-striped white and purple wire is the top of the harness. That will start at the mirror connector. So as you can see here, here's the harness. Right side is the top of it. We're gonna start with the mirror. It gets jumped from the mirror to the door harness. And the dangling wire is the signal wire for the blinker. From there, it gets jumped into the switch controller. Now here, we're gonna be supplying power to the system. So you need to actually use the T-tap on the thick yellow wire um, that comes out into the switching mechanism uh, for the windows. Now from there, we are gonna plug in the little ECU for the operation of the mirrors. We are also gonna jump the door lock wires. So anytime you lock or unlock, the module knows to either open or close the mirrors. And then we're also gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. So there's only one harness for the passenger side, goes to the mirror, then to the door harness, and then the two green wires. Now from there, we're gonna go ahead and change out the button on the driver's side panel. Uh, basically, we're just adding a button that allows you to fold the mirrors manually from within the car. Uh, it's a simple process. That button does fit in the current configuration I have for the Sport. You just simply take the screws out, put the new one in, Put the screws back, tighten them down, and you're good to go. Okay, so we're on to the removal of the speaker. It's just one screw, pull up on the speaker, and then remove the harness. 
Um, as you can see here, that driver's side door harness, the right white um, is the signal for the left mirror and that black wire is for the signal to the passenger side mirror. Um, now you need to feed both of those wires into the cabin. What I'm doing here is I'm actually um, tucking both of those wires into the door panel and then I'm pulling them into the cabin via that door grommet. Um, you'll see it there here in a second, uh, but you know what I'm talking about. It's basically the rubber grommet that shields the actual Honda supplied harness from the door to the cabin. So um, any way that you can snake it into the cabin, that's what you wanna do. Um, I was able to use one of the wires that I got in, um, taped the second wire to it, and then I was able to, to kind of feed it through. So it made it a little bit easier. Now, once you're done with that, um, I had a little bit of exposed wire, so I went back through and I covered it with some 3M electrical tape, uh, very flexible and does a really good job at shielding and protecting the work that I did. So you're about to see that here in one second. This section right here, all sealed up. Um, the grommets are back in their stock locations. Um, this electrical tape has been wrapped all the way around. It's 3M tape, so it's pretty robust. Um, from there, we're gonna go ahead and put the door speaker back on. And then, now that we have these wires in the cabin of the vehicle, we're gonna take this black one, and it's gotta get routed all the way across. And again, it's getting hooked up to those green wires over there and then we have to tap this candy striped purple and white one into this section here but let's go ahead and put the door speaker back on and then we'll get into tapping this wire so here in a second you're going to see tapping the wire um, but i would highly recommend that when you do this you have a circuit tester um, that was by far my saving grace um, there's a lot of wires down there so you're going to need one to test it all right guys, so as you can see here, we have a pretty thick wire loom. Um, the wire loom feeds from the back of the trunk and it all routes through the driver's side. Passenger side probably has about six wires. Um, so in order to find this one um, for the passenger, I'm sorry, for the driver's side signal, what I did was I turned on the blinker and I tested using my circuit tester, the rear tail light and the front headlight and the wire was the same color for both. So it's gonna run through the back of the car all the way up to the front of the car. Um, so what I did is I, I looked for the color wires that match that both in thickness and in color and I used my circuit tester as you can see here on screen. Um, sorry I didn't get it in the video but it did um, blink red and green which this circuit tester is supposed to do um, when you have the live circuit for the blinker on. If it was a solid wire, solid power, it would just turn red. But in this case, it was the blinker. Um, now you're gonna also see here, uh, going forward in the video, that we have the brown wire right next to it. Um, the pink, brown, and blue wire were in the inner part of the door jam. So they're facing towards the door. The other blue colors are towards the inside of the car. So it's a little bit easier to find it. Um, now from there, all we're gonna do is we're gonna use the T-tap. T-tap is gonna secure itself around that blue wire. Um, and then we are gonna tap the candy striped wire into that. That feeds the signal to the driver's side mirror. That's where the blinking comes from. Okay, so now that we have this wire spliced, everything is back into place. We now have to take this black wire and we have to route it back behind the dash over to that door. So in order to slide this wire through the console, um, easiest way to do it is to take off this trim right here, pop that off first, pull back on the little pop rivet over there. And what it does, is it basically gives you access to behind the center console. Now, if you do the same thing on the other side, you can see that now you have access to sliding it through. So I'm gonna pull the cable through, I'm gonna route it over here, and we are gonna get it connected to those green wires. Okay, so now that we got these two wires over to this side of the car, again, I'm not gonna tell you how to route it, but what I did is I brought it over 
uh, from the back side of the carpet, put it behind the brake and the gas pedal, and same thing, I routed it behind the carpet, came over on this side. Um, now we gotta take off the speaker on this side. We have to route this uh, purple and brown cable back through that grommet. It is gonna come behind the door, up right here, and then we're gonna connect it to these two. Um, it says, for obvious reasons, purple wire goes here, the other one goes to this guy. This provides power to your side mirror. Now, in order to get the signal, the LED signal, we have to run this wire, and they provided this extra cable. We're going to connect these two together with those quick splices that I have, route it back through the hole, and it's going to go the opposite way through the grommet. It's gonna come out over here and route to the driver's side. Now, as you can see right here, we're removing the speaker. Um, again, you just remove the screw, pop the speaker up, and then remove the harness. Now from there, I am routing all of the wiring. Now I told you guys before, we're gonna have the existing purple and brown um, wiring. I'm gonna call it a harness. It's gonna route from inside the cabin through the door and it's gonna connect to the two green wires that you can currently see there. And then we're gonna uh, connect the additional black wire. You're gonna see that in the kit or you saw it in the kit at the beginning of this video. Um, that gets connected to the passenger side signal and that routes back through the door into the cabin over to the wiring harness again and we're gonna tap it into the brown side of that. Um, now this is why I went out and bought some of those uh, additional connectors or splices was for this uh, section in particular. Um, the kit did not supply the connections for this side um, or if it did, they just didn't come with my particular kit. So that's fine, these are you know like a couple bucks um, and I wanted to make sure it was done correctly I didn't want any exposed wires. Now once you're done crimping everything, um, the goal is to now uh, take that signal wire from the passenger side mirror, route it back through the car, and it's gotta come back over to the driver's side. Now on screen you can see I am touching the brown wire. Um, that's the same wire that goes to the passenger tail light and to the passenger headlight. Um, now I did use the circuit tester on this uh, particular wire so I was able to tell that it was the wire that I needed um, and it's uh, I think it might be the only brown wire in there if I'm if I'm correct again if there's another one in there this is the thicker of the two so you'll be able to tell um, and this is located right next to that blue wire so uh, make sure that you have your circuit tester you can test both of them um, and it's fairly easy to do now since we already have the wire, we know what we're doing. We're gonna use an existing uh, T-tap. Um, I did get some of those from the store just in case. Um, we're gonna pull the wire back through. Um, we're gonna route it behind the gas and the brake pedal, behind the carpet, and we are gonna set it up just like we have the candy striped one. Okay, so the wire is tapped now, as you can see. Um, and we're just gonna tuck it in like that. Carpet goes in right there. Um, this one sits down and then the seal goes over it. And then from there, we should be good to go. So we have that side completed. All the wiring is completed on that door. Um, all the wiring is completed right here for the signal. And then the harness right here on the door, it is jumped with a supplied harness. It goes from the mirror into the supplied harness, into the Honda factory one. The left turn signal wire goes through the door into the uh, car wiring harness. We have the Honda factory um, window harness, and then we have the jumped supplied harness into the button or switch that controls the mirrors. Um, now, the only other thing that's left, of course, is to plug in the power source, um, but the vendor highly recommends that you do not do that until everything's um, confirmed that it's plugged in. So you wanna get the box or the module out of the way um, once you're safe and secure, make sure everything's connected. Um, we gotta check the door lock uh, connector up here in the top left. Um, it's plugged in correctly, it's jumped correctly. Um, now all we have to do, like I said, is plug it in. So once you're confident that everything is where it needs to go, then you will take that T-tap plug and you will plug it into the T-tap that we have right here on this yellow wire. That supplies power. Now when you plug it in, um, the little module it is gonna make a couple of beeps, so don't freak out. Don't think that you broke anything. It'll make some beeps, um, and then you're good to go. 
from there, we're gonna go ahead and put everything back on, all the panels, and we're gonna test it out. We're gonna make sure that this is operating correctly. Um, so fingers crossed, let's go take a look at it.